Hello, uh, my name is Michael Halliwell. I'm um, the Associate Professor of Vocal Studies and Opera at the Sydney Conservatorium and I'm one of the judges for the Singing um, Award this year. My fellow judges were Irene Bartlett from the Queensland Conservatorium and Gwila Taiva from the Elder Conservatorium in Adelaide. And the three of us um, had the difficult but very pleasurable task of um, judging um, the winners of um, the Scholarship Award this year. Uh, the award is one of the most uh, interesting, I think, uh, and, and worthwhile scholarships for young singers. It's, um, it's a chance for them to bridge the gap between the training in conservatories and various institutions and the first step into the profession, which um, is always very difficult. The step uh, can take a number of years to, to make and um, there's no guarantee. So this, this scholarship offers um, some financial support for them to, to get the, tr the extra training and travel that they, um, that they need for this. We judged um, a number of um, entries and the standard was very good. We felt that the applications that were submitted were well thought out and really gave a good picture of each individual singer. But in the end, we were unanimous in our choice of two uh, performers who we felt really addressed all the criteria for the scholarship. The first uh, recipient is Bryony Dwyer, who's a soprano with um, a lovely, beautiful, clear voice very good technique, um, high extension to the sound. It's a, 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 a voice that has great flexibility, uh, excellent musicality. She demonstrates very good language skills already, something that is of vital importance to um, uh, a developing a career. I am currently in Vienna working with the Wiener Staatsoper, which is so exciting. This is such an incredible city filled with music and with art and with this generous scholarship established by John Martin and his estate I will be able to stay here in Europe and hopefully in Vienna to continue to absorb and learn from the wonderful culture of opera that they have here in this beautiful country. Um, my humble thanks go to John Martin and to the board of the Martin Bequest Travelling Scholarship and also to the Trust Company as trustees of this amazing bequest. Our second winner was or is Lauren Easton, a mezzo-soprano who again we felt um, most impressed by. It's a beautifully warm, rich mezzo voice with um, a very good coloratura technique um, which opens up a lot of repertoire for her. She um, is a very sensitive singer. She showed uh, good language skills in the excerpts that she presented. It's a voice that has tremendous potential for future development. Hello. My name is Lauren Easton, I'm a mezzo-soprano and I've just been told that I am to be awarded one of the Martin Bequest Travelling Scholarships for 2013. Not many words come close to describing the level of my gratitude right now, but I would like to give my heartfelt thanks to the Trust Company, to the sponsors and to the judging panel of the Martin Bequest Travelling Scholarship. Not only is this award prestigious in itself, but to look through the list of past recipients, it is such an honour to be amongst them now. Young people in the arts overseas struggle endlessly to afford life in general, let alone to ensure their careers have solid footing. And so, gratefully, with this award, I will be able to afford my private singing lessons, my coaching sessions, to afford competition entries and to attend them, auditions, and to ensure I can continue to pursue this career with confidence. And I'm so grateful for your support. I will endeavour to act as a proud ambassador, not only for the Martin Bequest, but for Australians in the arts overseas. So we are very happy to, um, to as on behalf of my fellow judges, to award the scholarship to these two very fine young singers and we look forward to watching their careers um, with great interest um, and we feel very confident that they will have a substantial career. <laughs>